What if a country known for exporting of surplus electricity decided to use that power for something other than selling it to neighbors? This is the situation in Paraguay right now where uh, senators initially considered banning cryptocurrency mining, but then pivoted to exploring the idea of selling excess energy from their Itaipu hydropower plant to Bitcoin miners. Uh, last week, lawmakers proposed a temporary ban on Bitcoin mining uh, due to concerns over illegal mining operations, siphoning electricity, and causing disruptions to the national grid. However, just days later, they approved a declaration supporting both local and foreign investments in infrastructure. And, uh, Senator Salem Buzarkis sees an opportunity here, um, hoping to convince the Paraguayan Ministry of Industry to consider the financial gains of supplying excess energy to crypto miners rather than continuing to export it to Brazil and Argentina. With 45 licensed crypto mining companies set to contribute nearly $125 million to the National Electricity Administration by 2025, it would make sense to tap into this market. Uh, currently, Paraguay exports electricity to Brazil at a heavily discounted price while paying roughly twice as much to produce it uh, by selling surplus energies directly to legal Bitcoin miners. Uh, within Paraguay, um, Andy stands to earn a 45% net profit margin, uh, potentially generating upwards of $73 million yearly uh, and adding approximately $17 million to government coffers uh, via taxes. Uh, beyond the fiscal incentives, embracing Bitcoin mining might create job opportunities and help prevent Andy's potential insolvency but how does humor fit into all of this? Well, let me leave you with this little pun. Why don't we ever hear jokes about Bitcoin? Because wallets are private keys. So with that said, thanks for tuning in and stay engaged as we uh, continue following developments in this fascinating intersection between policy and technology. Uh, 